I'm Paul Acevedo with Windows Central coming at you from QuakeCon 2015 in Dallas. Hi, I'm Mike Porter. I'm from Media Design School in Auckland, New Zealand and also New School of Architecture and Design in San Diego. So Mike, what can you tell us about New Zealand? Do they speak New Zealish there? <laughs> they speak Hobbit. Oh. <laughs> no, they speak English uh, just with a Kiwi accent. Gotcha. Well, tell us a little bit how you got into the gaming industry first. Sure. Uh, in, in 1995, I started working at a company called Terminal Reality. And then uh, from there, I went to Ritual. And then I went to Sierra. And finally at Microsoft when I ended my career and started uh, teaching. Cool. So what titles did you work on while you were at Microsoft? I worked on Shadowrun. I worked on um, a little bit of Halo 3. And I worked on the Flight Sim Train Sim, uh, Train Sim 2, while I was at Microsoft. Oh, that sounds like fun. Oh, and I also did the, the uh, Koi Pond for the touchscreen uh, for Windows 8. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> and how did you end up in New Zealand then? Uh, so I looked around the world, tried to find uh, a different job, and teaching was something I haven't thought of, but it came up, and uh, I got really excited about it. And tell us about your teaching then. Yep, so uh, we started, I started in uh, 2009, and it was a graduate diploma in New Zealand, uh, and then we uh, were accredited as a bachelor's program, and so that's been going on uh, for a while now, for three years, and we're ranked fourth in the world right now, uh, but only, out of those four, there's only one that's like internationally recognized uh, bachelor's program, so uh, I think we're doing pretty well, and we've just opened a uh, school in uh, San Diego. California, at, so it's Media Design School at New School of Architecture and Design. Oh, cool. How easy is it to get into these schools? Uh, well, we want to take a look at your portfolio. We want to see if you have a passion for games, uh, and we have to have you write up a letter to let us know why you're passionate, uh, so we can actually see your educational output as well. So tell us about the experience for students at your schools. So it's been really great for our students because they do everything by themselves. Uh, art, programming, UX, UI, design. They have to put it out in the marketplace. They have to publish uh, through HIO or Game Jolt uh, and, and deal with the interactions of users of their games. So it gives them a really well-rounded experience. And we've had one of our student games uh, mentioned in uh, a featured game for PC Gamer, um, Rock, Paper, Shotgun, Indie Games, Games Old, and HIO. And it's it's absolutely amazing. It's called Dolly. Have you had a class graduate since you've been there? Oh, yeah. This is, uh, we've had two, two graduates. Excellent, excellent. Yep. I understand that you've spoken on the user experience recently. Yep. Uh, that was the UX Speakeasy. Uh, that was quite cool. We were talking about uh, games and because most of the UX people are more for like when, uh, websites and that sort of thing. So they wanted to ask questions around games because they haven't uh, really been exposed to that much. Tell us something about UX. Okay. So user experience is a variety of things. One is about ease of use, right? So I'm able to move my mouse and it's logical. The second is about is it pleasing? Uh, is it uh, something that the colors make sense to me? Uh, so for instance, if you put a, a go button with a red background, people might get confused, right? So it has to be about... Uh, how you're going to interact with it, with whatever it is, uh, microwaves, all that, uh, websites, you know, iPhone, that sort of thing. So, you, user experience is about how you interact with the, with the product that you're working with. Yeah, you know, that's one of the things I'm very particular about, so that it's cool that you are knowledgeable on it. Oh, thank you. To wrap it up, why don't you tell me about some of the games coming out that you're excited for? Oh, uh... So I'm really excited about Elder Scrolls Online, about Doom, obviously. I think everybody is super fan, uh, super excited about that. Um, yeah, I mean, those are the big ones. And, oh, you know, Dishonored 2, uh, that's, that's going to be amazing. Uh, and a lot of indie games coming out that I really want to try. Uh, and I don't have any off the top of my head right now. but no, Indie games are my faves. Yeah. Did you get a chance to play Doom yet? I haven't. No, I've been busy working. <laughs> oh, you got it. It's so good. Yeah, I was looking at it and it was amazing uh, just seeing how much, uh, ex you know, it's like super exciting, super fast paced, but it still remains true to the classic Doom uh, game deathmatch. Yeah, it really does. Uh, what do you think about like putting something in like a leveling system or some kind of meta game to the multiplayer? Uh, I, th I think they have a little bit of that, you know, for like Quake 3 Arena, that sort of uh, leveling uh, through tiers. Uh, and that might maybe the way to go and Doom. 
Nice. Yeah, I like that kind of thing. I think some people maybe want it to be a little more old school, but yeah. I don't know. you got to keep players sticking around, right? That's right. You have the people that have been playing forever that know all the tricks and instigate you every time you walk around. So you need to get the new people coming in. And, uh, you know, the tier where the old timers are actually really amazing, they should stick to that and let the other ones build up to them. That does sound like a better experience. <laughs> Okay, well, it's been great talking to you, Mike. It's very nice talking to you, and I really appreciate the time. Thanks a lot.